Okay, so this is about the blessings and the cursings of the two mountains of Naples. This is Naples, okay? In between two valleys. It's in the valley between two mountains. Here, the northern one, uh, the southern one, which is Mountain Gerizim, and the other one is Mountain Ibal. Now, according to Samaritans, when the Israelites came to the Holy Lands, they came to Shechem, to Naples. Mm -hmm. And half of the tribes, you know about the 12 tribes of Jacob, half of the tribes... It was called Shechem at that time, or Salome? Uh, no, Shechem. The Canaanite name was Salome. Yeah, but the name was like Shechem, I think. No? But before Shechem, it was in the Canaanite. Okay, so I'm going to talk according to Samaritans what they say about the name. It's called Shkem. Shkem means the shoulder. And it was named, uh, who named it? Yeah, Jacob. Jacob named Naplos as Shkem. Shkem, which means the shoulder of mountain Gerzim. Mm -hmm. So now you know the meaning of Shkem. Okay. The shoulder of mountain Gerzim. So, Half of the tribes stood on the top of Mountain Gerzim and the, ha the other half on the top of Mountain Ebal. Now, these who were here, they were blessing the people of Israelites who are following the, uh, the rules of the God and the Torah. Yes. But the others on Mountain Ebal were cursing anybody who doesn't follow the, uh, the rules Allah. of uh, like um, God and the rules of the Torah. That's why Mountain Gerzim is called the blessed mountain and Mountain Ebal is the cursed one. Oh. This is like the reason because the what was exactly the difference between the two? Why why was they why were they it's making like a curse? The, it's, uh, no, it's just about Can't the idea. Can't she know what we is speaking? But I am speaking. I am not speaking uh, well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, the major thing is that these two, uh, like these tribes, were trying to say something or deliver like a message for the Israelites that if you followed the rules of the Torah and the rules of God, then you are in the safe side. Mm -hmm. But the blessings, the blessing took the place here. Yes. Okay? And the curses were from the other mountain. And it seems that because the blessings were from here and the curses from here, so the mountain was affected right. by the blessings yes. and the other one by the curses. But I wonder why were they cursing? Cursing uh, because if anybody doesn't follow the uh, rules of the Torah and God, he will be cursed. Oh, so they took a different uh, perspective, <laughs> yes. Ah. Ah. He's like trying to emphasize on a major idea that maybe the names of like, this is a blessing one and this is a cursing one because the blisses happened here on this mountain and the curses happened from the other mountain. But that doesn't mean like it's 100% cursed or this is, you know yes. what I'm trying to yeah. say? Mm -hmm. But uh, why the Samaritans believe this is the blessed one or the choose one because uh, there's the verse in the Torah said uh, that God created the blessed on Mount Gerizim. That's why they believe it's the blessed one and the uh, place uh -huh. for the Samaritans, okay? Yes. This is uh, <laughs> This is a very beautiful sculpture. Thank <laughs> Yeah. 
الكهرباء. 